Go. Aloha, Palpation Nation. Welcome to the vlog. Today's just a regular day. I had about five hours of meetings first thing this morning, and now I'm off on the road doing uh, some postmortems. It's like my day, my everyday day, day. Okay, I'm at the feedlot now. I am checking out the pen from yesterday. This is the grain overload pen that we had hooked uh, the four calves up to fluids. These calves are looking phenomenal. So we treated the clinical ones and the rest of the pen got hay. And a couple different feeders. We turned off the water for about 18 hours. That helps alleviate a lot of the symptoms and everybody is looking really good today. At the postmortem pit now, I know one of the animals from yesterday, this guy, is one of the ones that passed away overnight, so I'll be able to show you guys the signs of acute ruminitis or grain overload, and I'm not sure what the other two are, but we shall see. So that is his rumen. You can see the epithelium easily sloughs off and you're left with this ruminitis, this inflammation of the rumen. So that's what an acidosis looks like. The acid essentially burns off all this epithelium, leaving that behind. So that's a grain overload. He also had an abomasitis, so an inflammation of his abomasum, that's his gut. guy's lungs you can see all the pus coming out certainly separative pneumonia so it looks like there's some micro abscessation most likely some mycoplasma in there too there you can see his normal lungs nice and pink aerated oh there's a little bit of emphysema here because he did have a pneumonia Versus his abnormal. Oh, there's a little normal knobby bit. You're cute. Look at you. So this guy had a pretty good chronic pneumonia. You can see normal and then abnormal lungs. So that's a chronic bronchopneumonia. You can see some pulmonary sequestrum there. When we cut into his joint, so this is stifle joint. He has a severe septic arthritis. This fluid should be clear, extremely turbid. Arthritis. His knee joint also looked a little blown up. Yep, same thing there. Polyarthritis, arthritis in all the joints. I also noticed that he had a arthritis on his hip too. And that was in his hip joint. So mycoplasma, chronic pneumonia, and parley, parley, polyarthritis. My mama said I had parley arthritis and that's why I had to wear my special shoes. This guy also had chronic pneumonia. So just for reference to that acidosis guy, this guy, this is his rumen. So his papillae are really hard to get off. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a little area there. So you can see there's much less inflammation. So not a ruminitis. Ooh, I got a little bit of shvetty on that one. It's always the worst when you're trying to clean off your boots and you have to pee really bad and the water's making you want to pee even more and then you pee your pants and you're just trying to be a veterinarian. If 
you ever heard about the universal law of urination? Like, it's a law, it's like gravity. Like, the universal law of urination is an animal, regardless of its size, will only pee for 21 seconds. That's it, doesn't matter if you're an elephant, or a human, or a chimpanzee, or a, a dog. My dog doesn't pee for 20, well, if you added up all the little pees, it's 21 seconds. But yeah, look it up. Universal law of urination, 21 seconds. Now you know. Learn something every day. Now I have a prolapse to put in. There we go, we stop pushing now. Do you want to take a picture? Good. Rectal prolapse in the heifer is complete. Uh, she goes out next week. Like, she's finished. She's fat and ready for slaughter. Uh, she goes out next week. I gave her 3cc epidural and pushed back in and gave her a boner stitch. Last post-mortem. See all that interlobular edema there? Dima, Dima, Dima. Okay, finished the post mortem. It was a free gas bloat, not a freak ass bloat. Some people in the YouTube comments always think I'm saying freak ass bloat. It's free gas bloat. Okay, he's got cranial congestion. See, this area is darker in comparison to his hind end pallor. He's got hind end edema. And then he also has lots of gas, rapid autolysis, freak ass bloat. My truck, my truck, my truck, my truck, my truck, my truck. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, that was scary. Oh, that was scary. Oh. You see the stuff I go through for you guys? Just trying to get a nice little pull away shot. Then I gotta jump out to get my camera and leave my truck in drive. things I do for you. We're checking if the string was strong enough to hold it. It's children of the hay. Yeah, we were checking all the hay to see if the straw is strong enough. So we decided to come out and uh, take a look at our hay and also do some forge analysis on the hay too. So I got my, my little drill thingy. We're gonna take some samples. I can't. You want to stab it with this one? Yeah. Oh, this is high I don't think me. there was anything Please on it. Me. I can, I can have M2O. Push. 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 Hey, my brother-in-law Baba thinks that he can go faster with the manual than I can go with the drill. So we're gonna do a test of four holes at the same time. Okay, go. Ready? Go. Baba wins. Good. I won. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to go to video replay for that. I'm looking in the same way as I do. I'm looking here. Stay out of my gas hole. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>